This is DevPod, an open source tool from Loft Labs used to create reproducible developer environments. Let's jump right in and check out what we can do with DevPod. These are workspaces. Workspaces are containerized development environments based on dev containers. Here we have a few workspaces already created. Let's take a look at providers. Providers allow DevPod to create, manage, and run workspaces on different infrastructure. Here's a list of currently supported providers. And since it's open source, users will have the ability to create their own providers if they aren't listed here. Some providers allow the ability to automatically stop workspaces. This provides cost savings when a workspace is not in use. For example, the Google Cloud provider will shut down the virtual machine where the workspace is running after it's unused for 10 minutes. This means you need to start the workspace again after it's been stopped when you want to reconnect. Let's see what it looks like to open up a workspace using the Docker provider in VS Code. So here's our workspace, it opened that fast. Now we want to start developing. Let's run this application. We can use port forwarding and then we can open it in a browser locally. Here's our application in the browser. Let's go back and go ahead and make some updates to index.html. So we'll start out by adding a new paragraph. And then what we'll add in is it's even better with DevPod on Docker. We'll save this, go back to our browser, refresh, and there's our update. Let's try the same thing with Kubernetes. We'll go to the Kubernetes base workspace and select open to open the workspace. All right, it's gonna bring our workspace up in VS Code. And I mean, this looks familiar. Looks just like we were doing in Docker. Let's go ahead and run the application again, open it in our browser. Then we'll go back and we'll make some changes again. All right, we'll add a new paragraph and this time we'll say it's even better with DevPod and Kubernetes. All right, we'll save that. Go back to our browser, refresh, and there's our update. What if we want to use a different IDE for our workspace? We can do that. We just select here, go to start with, select VS Code browser. And now what this is going to do is open it up in VS Code browser version instead of our desktop version. And now if we look around for a minute, we can see that we've got the same stuff on the left-hand side. We can look at app.py and see that's still there. And if we go to static index.html, we can see that our updates have been saved. Adding providers is easy. Let's say we want to add AWS. It's going to give us a couple of sections to fill out, like region. Once we select our region, US East 1, we can go down to AWS options, and we're going to need to put in our access key and secret key. Um, and in this case, if you look here, we're actually running this on a virtual machine. So we would add provider, and then we'd have that as an option. Adding a workspace is easy as well. Let's check out the examples, and we'll create a Go-based quick start example. So we'll select Go. We'll make sure that our provider is Docker, and then we'll go and we'll name our workspace. And this will be go example workspace. And then we'll create the workspace. And what that's gonna do is bring up VS code for us and run this container in Docker. And then we can start developing in Go. Another cool thing is this open in DevPod button. You can add to your GitHub repositories. So we would select open in DevPod. It would start a new workspace for us. It would give us our GitHub repository. We select provider, we name it and then we hit create workspace. And then what that's gonna do is bring up VS Code for us, and it's gonna show us that GitHub repository in VS Code, and we can start developing. Another cool thing is this is all client side, so we can run these environments anywhere. There's no complex server side needs. Oh, and did I mention it's all open source? That's pretty cool. If you want to, you can reach out to us on slack.loft.sh, join our community, ask some questions. We'll be happy to help you out with DevPod.